Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Russ Kessler. Well, thank you, Foster Justice and uh, Ellie and stuff. Uh, got people here from different states. Uh, West Coast, down Florida, California, Ohio, West Virginia. And uh, this is my third year. Um, they had a parental rights thing last week. I, I wanted to be at it too, but I, I couldn't make it here. But I had to be here for the Fathers for Justice March that it will be tomorrow. And I'm proud to be here. These are a great bunch of people. But uh, why we're really here is that we're losing our kids and the government's just stealing our kids from us and making money off it. And the foster care system is selling our kids out. Um, you, a lot of people heard about our kids just being in cages, raped, murdered, missing. Um, I just read about a case last week about a seven-year-old child down in Florida that they claim was on so many drugs that he hung himself. I don't buy that. I don't know any seven-year-old kid that will commit suicide. Something's wrong with that this kid on drugs. Uh, it bothers me. Uh, it just bothers me every day. So the foster parents are charged with whatever happened to this boy and the system. Uh, it's got to stop. I mean, it could be your kids next. It's not if, but when because it's out of control all the way across the family system. Family court system is all out of control. Um, I read thousands of cases. I read them all the time. I see, I heard every story there is out there that I can think of to compare with what I'm going through and everybody I know. And ain't none of it any good. And it, all the way things are now, the good people are getting hurt too that cannot do their jobs in this system at all. They just can't. I hear CPS people tell me right out, if I don't go by the supervisors, I will lose my 401k plans. Where's the justice in this? I, I, you know, I, it just messes me up I, you know, all the time. I've been in this for five years now, and I belong to many groups, not just Files for Justice, but proud to be with. Um, in many states, and I try to help everyone the way I can, but I hear these cases and I can't walk away. This is a lifelong thing. And you think your kids can't be next, they can be next. All it takes is a false allegation from a neighbor, a disgruntled neighbor, somebody that don't like you or anything, you can lose your children, period, permanently. Maybe never see them or get them back again. And one out of five foster homes, if they're in five foster homes, have been molested, guaranteed. Those ain't good numbers by any standard. Uh, false allegations is destroying our whole family court system, period. Domestic violence is a major, major cause to open the door for CPS to step in. It just saddens me, you know, Mr. Obama, you say fathers need to step up to the plate. I'm here to step up to the plate. We're all here to step up to the plate for our children. What are you going to do about changing these laws so we get our children back when we didn't commit no crimes? Thank you.